Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. While we were all pawning all over NVIDIA digits and AMD's new offerings, it seems HP has also started to join the AI pie. HP recently announced an AMD-based generative AI machine with 128 GB unified RAM, which even came before NVIDIA's digits announcement. In this video, I am going to describe to you what exactly those offerings are and why they make a lot of sense. And it is really good to see that more and more competitors are joining the fray in order to challenge the NVIDIA's monopoly, which is still very far away, but at least there is a start, which is quite refreshing at the start of this 2025. So the offerings which HP has come up with are two. First and foremost, they have this mini desktop workstation, which they are calling as AI powered desktop edition. This is the model name is HP Z2 Mini G1A. It is a powerful mini desktop workstation, which has been designed for professionals who require high performance computing in a compact form factor. Secondly, they also have released this laptop, which is an AI laptop. This is called as HP ZBook Ultra G1A. It is a 14 inch mobile workstation that redefines how we use AI on the laptop. So what I have done is I have gone into their specs on HP's website and then I have created this table. This table is by no means an extensive comparison, but I have just picked up some of the salient features to show you what is what exactly these two products are and then how they compare to each other. Now, before you ask, let me clarify, you cannot run CUDA on it because it is an AMD uh, software hardware. So you cannot run CUDA on it. What you can do though, you can run AMD's Rockham that will be supported along with DirectML, Vulkan Compute and few other things. By the way, this is just yet another RNDA3 based APU except larger compute units instead of 16 with an 890 meg powered APU, which is quite good. So accelerations, I believe it is going to be quite good. Now, if you look at this comparison table, which not only gives you the specs, price, and also some of the idea which one is better and which one is not, I'm not going to suggest which one you should buy. I will just present you the comparison and then the decision is up to you. So. If you look here, let's have a look at this workstation, which is HP Z2 Mini G1A, the second column. So this is, as I said, it's a mini desktop workstation. This comes with AMD Ryzen AI Max Pro processor. This workstation delivers quite a good CPU performance because it has 16 desktop classes and five CPU cores. It also has got integrated RDNA 3.5 GPU, <clears throat> that provides robust graphics capabilities. Also, it has got the support for up to 128 GB of unified LPD DR5X memory that ensures seamless multitasking. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, if you don't know what unified memory is, I have done a very simple to understand video exclusively on unified memory. I would highly encourage you to watch it to appreciate this feature in this workstation. So with its internal power supply and compact design, the HP Z2 Mini G1A can be easily mounted behind a monitor, under a desk or in a rack, which is quite an ideal solution for professionals, especially if you're working in a confined space and require high density deployment. Okay, then we have this notebook, as you can see on the last column, this is a mobile workstation with uh, 14 inch monitor that really looks cool this has again been powered by amd ryzen ai max pro processor and it also again gives the same cpu performance 16 desktop class and 5 cpu cores it comes with integrated uh, radeon 806 os gpu a different gpu so from the desktop it provides robust graphic capabilities and it has got support for 128 gb of unified lpddr 5x memory that is again very good for multitasking the weight of this laptop is really really um, quite light it is 1.5 kg and it is around 18.5 millimeter thick 
This is designed for professionals who require high performance computing on the go. With its long lasting battery life, advanced thermal management system and robust security feature, this is quite good for maybe running small models or in a quantized uh, way on your local system. Now what I think? I think that both these products are quite impressive. Um, for me, the best thing is that they are yet another option. Yes, they don't support CUDA, which really limits our options, but that is where AMD is to be blamed. They really, really need to uh, lift their game and make their Rockham or whatever they want to use more portable. Um, they need to give us the option to come up with something to challenge the NVIDIA's monopoly. And I think that while um, another thing is that the use of AMD Ryzen AI Max Pro processor and integrated GPU provide a significant boost in performance and efficiency. While the desktop uh, version here excels in its complex form factor and high density deployment capabilities, the notebook shines with its portability, long battery life and robust security features. So, but the challenge lies in software compatibility and optimization particularly with NVIDIA GPUs and AI workloads. So, but it really shows that HP has some commitment to innovate and push the boundaries, which is quite cool. Um, I think that this is where NVIDIA, uh, sorry, AMD needs to lift its game. That is my own opinion. And by the way, this video is not at all sponsored by HP or by AMD or by anyone else. So that's it. I will drop the link to this press release from HP in the video's description. Let me know what do you think. And let me know, uh, you know, do you think that you are going to buy this or not? Uh, very, very keen to know your thoughts. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network uh, as it helps. And towards the end, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video, who is Agent Bot iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. This iGenBot is quite useful and ideal for open source, tech, open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. I will drop the link to their website in video's description and I would highly highly request you to visit the sponsor's website because they really um, make it worthwhile to produce these videos. And again, uh, my request that this is only marketing I do. And if you want to know more about digits, so please just search for digits on the channel and you will find this first video uh, where I have compared it with the NVIDIA RTX 5090 card. That's it. Thank you for all the support. Much, much appreciated.